we have working hours punch hours and date of punching if you notice here for dates april 4 5 6 and 7 we have punched hours more than one time we must group these dates and do summation on punched hours we are going to do this with the help of power bi desktop now we have started the DAX with group by DAX function. First parameter of group by DAX function is table. We will select our source table punching details. Second parameter of group by DAX function is group by column name. We will select date column from punching details table because we must group the data with data column first secondly we will select a working hours column from punching details table to group data with working hours third parameter of group by dax function is name we have named a new column that is being added to the list of group by columns enclosed in double quotes as consolidate hours. Now in expression parameter, we used summx aggregate function. Before proceeding further, we will explain you what is summx dax function. Summx function returns the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in a table. Syntax of summx is summx open bracket table comma expression and closing bracket. First parameter of summx dax function is table. So we are not going to select the direct table. Instead of that, we will use current group dax function. Before proceeding further, we will explain you what is current group dax function. Current group DAX function returns a set of rows from the table argument of a group by expression that belong to the current row of the group by result. Syntax of current group is current group and open bracket, closing bracket without any parameters. Current group can only be used in an expression that defines an extension column within the group by function. In effect, current group returns a set of rows from the table argument of group by that belong to the current row of the group by result. Group by function takes no arguments and is only supported as the first argument to one of the following aggregation functions like average x, count x, max x, min x, sum x and etc. Second parameter of summx dax function is expression. We will select ours column from punching details table and close the brackets of summx dax and group by dax functions. We have created a new call created column with dax functions. We can see the newly created calculated table in right side under the field section. It contains consolidated hours, punching details date and punching details working hours. We will create a matrix visual in Power BI desktop to visualize the calculated table data. In Power BI Desktop, we have selected Matrix Visual from Visualization section. Once you selected Matrix Visual, we can see Matrix Visual related fields in Field section. We dragged Punching Details Date column from Finalize Hours Calculated Table and placed it in Row section. And we dragged Consolidated Hours column from Finalize Hours Calculated Table and placed it in value section. After placing all columns in proper section, now matrix visual looks like this.
if you notice here we have separated the year quarter month and dates and punch stars of an employee is consolidated as per our requirement for dates april 4 5 6 and 7 previously it was showing multiple punching hours now it got consolidated and sum up with 9 to watch more videos like this visit our official youtube channel petaka technologies to get notifications on new upcoming videos subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon